<clears throat> oh, the pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. <clears throat> ah, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. True. Very true. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Damn, what the f- Did you see them? That looks fucking wild. In the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Ader, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Ader, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? <clears throat> I want to go to the central loop, too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel the killer. will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. I'll try to find mm. Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush hush. Uh oh? Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. Ooh. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that <coughs> tro trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Interesting. The water issue. We need to take the water tower back. Aiden, still alive? Don't yes. worry about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for of you. Of course. Aiden. Meet me outside. Everyone's right. The war with the renegades ain't no good for us. It wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. Oh, figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. Huh? I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless <clears throat> you prefer the girl. Sophie? <laughs> uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's, you'll see. Okay, I guess I'll take the girl. So... <clears throat> I will most likely do two episodes out of this very long episode or a very long recording because uh, one episode will be me getting the the Lazarus and then the next one will be doing this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put this in the video or not, but if I am just uh, excuse my just rambling, I, uh, I like have to set up like a 
not a schedule, but like what I'm going to do in my head. It helps to talk about it, essentially. But enough about that. Let's talk about the actual game. Uh, why? Oh, well, fuck it. Let's do this real quick. I wonder if I have to climb up here every time I want to do. I'm not gonna lie. I wonder, like, again, I, like I said, I wonder if it works like, like safe houses where I, okay, cool, I can, I can chill here for the night or whatever, or I can like recharge my light. How do I get up here? Oh. I guess. Sancho Panza? What a Sancho is? Oh wow! Like you build a whole like a little settlement. Why are you why are you sawing that? <coughs> no! <laughs> so stupid, dude. It reminds me of this clip from, uh, from, uh, Maximilian, or, uh, yeah, Max. Uh, I love that dude. He's like one of my favorite YouTubers. This is really fucking cool. So, like, I actually want to, I want to get these now because you build a whole fucking settlement through them. That's really cool. Chief, he ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. I am. Well, fuck me. Nothing. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim, and stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. Fuck are you? <clears throat> this time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. Okay. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that he's still on that. He's just like, yeah. Oh, hold on. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to. He had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Wild. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. Uh, there will be no rebuilding. Like a fool to me. Wait. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. This dude is the fucking guy we, we saw him talking to. What's her face? I don't remember. Uh, the chick from the PKs. It's this dude. Okay. Okay. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety <clears throat> of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So for almost killing me? Pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Terrible. Bad and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. Oh, God. And this is why Spare we are Spare me your fucking here. dribble, dog. Any more news? 
<sighs> Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar, simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new <clears throat> order based on social bonds, Ooh. on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. Yeah. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Okay, so like some things to understand about myself is I am a firm believer that there is no such thing as like a peaceful world. I think there's always going to be conflict. I think there's always going to be human nature coming in and butting heads with ideologies, specifically his. Like, it sounds nice and flowery and all this other shit, but like, it's it's impossible. Like, people are just shit. Like, we're we're shitty by nature. Like, we're I shouldn't say that we're dual. We're, we have like dual personalities or dual like, uh, we're we're like good natured, but we're also shitty natured. Like, we're good and bad. So this dude's like, oh yeah, like if only we could be better. It's like, there's always gonna be greedy people. There's always gonna be assholes. There's always gonna be the bad natured people with the good natured people. So like, these guys are a little bit better because they're actually like willing to fucking kill people apparently. But I know that sounds like, why is that good? Because you know, good people usually tend to get walked over because they think they're easy to walk over. I don't know. I think I have, I have issues with this ideology, essentially. Um, is gossip all you want from <clears throat> me, Carl? No, but you came from outside and you're walking around my flock. So, to set Whoa, things straight, okay. I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you then? I don't like that metaphor. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Oh, yes, I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? I need to ask her about Lucas's death. Oh. Why would a pilgrim care about PK business? What's in it for you? But let's say a man's death should be another man's concern. Isn't that what separates us from the infected? <laughs> I guess you have a point. I guess you have a point. Lucas's death is our <laughs> concern as well. <clears throat> but mainly because we are the prime suspects. I have never hidden my views on the peacekeepers. The old world fell because of people like them. Greedy, power-hungry fascists. Building the new reality based on the old values would not be wise to say the least. Of course, according to the PK, such claims automatically make me and all of us potential killers. So the sooner Lucas's murderer is found, the better for us. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. But just to be clear, I'd be surprised if she knew anything about it. Sophie is a fighter. Not an assassin. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll see you around, Carl. Fuck you, Carl. <clears throat> Just fuck you. Someone's been stealing our water, and nobody's doing anything about it. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. Aiden, you're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. 
People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small air? The pilgrim who has literally traversed the outside world that is wildly fucking dangerous may be useful. This is like the set. This is the right hand man of the leader of this of this place. I almost don't want to give you guys control of the fucking area now. I kind of want to go with PK because at least like they have a fucking brain. Well, I don't know yet, but just just oh, it's so Thanks stupid. Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craft masters, Algrodo or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for. A certain transaction. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. The if I was what's his name? Aiden? Is it Aiden? I don't know. Yeah, it is Aiden. I like if the Duke grabbed me from the fucking throat. I would literally have just get like I would always carry a small knife with me and just fucking stab him in the neck. <clears throat> hey, you. Like, yeah, you looking for work by any chance? No. Everything would have been simpler. Why do you say that? Back in the day, I, I had a huge, have you seen a, a massive, uh, bastard stole my uh, last well, and uh, a workshop, Dad. Yes. A workshop! So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. Shop elsewhere. <laughs> and be this, uh... Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find <clears throat> some crystals. Oh, for fucks! They've already sent one of their... F f f f f f fuckwits? Who? That fellow! <laughs> Sophie's brother. Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. <laughs> the asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... Uh, 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 a hundred and twenty... Uh, uh, a hundred and... Uh, uh, Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. The best over the bazaar is here. Uh, can I can I fast travel there, wherever it is? Oh, it's like really really okay. Yeah, I don't I don't like the leader of the bazaar. He sounds like a fucking idiot. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I'm, I just don't do well with like peaceful peaceful ideologies because I just don't believe it's gonna happen like don't get me wrong I would love peace but I also believe in like enforcing peace if that makes sense and well what did you find I know the location but I was told your brother asked about it already Herman see if Barney turned on his radio Barney, answer me. Barney. Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own and throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time I gather. No, he's always trying to prove himself. Last time he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago either. The fucking kid. I'll kill oh. him. I'll just kill him. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. <clears throat> My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in a dark zone before, in the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? 
Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. Go. This Sophie chick is literally fucking the dumbest piece of shit I've ever fucking... Okay, she's the dumbest person in this game so far. She's like, you? Me, a pilgrim who has literally traversed how many fucking kilometers just to get to this shitty city? <clears throat> you don't think I have... you? At once. You have to find him before dawn. I'll do my best. I'm legitimately annoyed right now. <clears throat> Nighttime stories. It's completed at night. So I'm guessing I have to complete these at night. <laughs> now I'm just sick of it. Uh, I'm guessing. Like I'm guessing like the story will change if you don't rescue them at night. 140 stamina required. Oh, I got to like up. Hey, I got inhibitors. Oh, I need to get one more. Okay. 